Hi friends, well my name is Vivek and today I wanted to show you how to create a one virtual machine in a cluster or you can say in on the ESXi host. So this is uh, our web client and under the web client I have a one cluster and under the cluster I have two ESXi host let me click on the one let me select the ESXi 01 and VMs under this option you will see all the virtual machine listed down here and let me see on ESXi 2 how many virtual mushroom machines are there so we have a five virtual machines and on the first exi host we have only four virtual machines i wanted to keep balance balance on mm, on two of both of the virtual machines so so on the first one i will be having a five virtual machines and the second one i also having a five virtual machines so i will keep those two things um, balance here onto the cluster so to create a one virtual machine I need to right click on ESXi host here I need to select new virtual machine and then new virtual machine here this is the wizard you will get it once you click on new virtual machine create a new virtual machine it is selected already you need to click on next here you need to type the virtual machine name what name you wanted to give on the virtual machine let's say um, a b c or let's say core hyphen b let me make it cavity and here you will select the data center click on next click on the desired ESXi host where you wanted to create one virtual machine onto the same cluster and it will show the compatibility check succeed click on next and here it will show on which data store you wanted to create this virtual machine so as of now we have only one so we'll select this and click on next also it is showing compatibility check doesn't have any problem while creating a one virtual machine on the yes, on this um, data store click on next so it will show uh, what type of ESX host you have available so I will select 6.5 and later again I need to click on next so it will here it will show you all the type of flavor of the machine and the operating system for me I am going to install a Windows based uh, machine so I will be selecting here Windows and the type of uh, the version and like let me click here it will show you all the list what type of uh, server Microsoft server you wanted to create here it either it is um, server 2008 server 2008 32-bit or 64-bit or either it is a normal Windows 7 machine or Windows 8 or Windows 10 so I will be selecting here server 64-bit Microsoft Server 2012 64-bit and click on next still loading so here you need to select the components of the virtual machine what type of CPU 
you wanted to assign and how many cores you wanted to assign so I just click on CPU here and it shows a CPU how many CPU you wanted to provide I've just selected one and how many cores per socket you wanted to provide I will select here one or if you are going to select here two you will get another options also available it has only one option I can only select one CPU at the moment so this option is enable CPU hot add for example if you if your virtual machine is running and you want it to increase or decrease the CPU core per socket you can do it while running virtual machine on live virtual machine you don't need to shut down the virtual machine you don't need to reboot virtual machine you, you don't need any re downtime required to change of the core per socket on the CPU for the social machine this is the reservation if you wanted to provide the reservation you can provide here we'll go down and type of hard drive let's start with the memory how much memory you wanted to assign I have already assigned 4 GB which is shown in a megabyte and I have assigned 40 GB of hard drive on this virtual machine so it is showing all the shares and limit of IOS IOPS and uh, the virtual flash read cache disk mode virtual device node and all the components which is related to the hard drive is showing all the things disk mode is dependent and SCSI controller is connected already so here is a new network adapter which is assigned to the cluster it's look all good this is your CD-ROM which is required to assign ISO image and if you have seen all the all the devices here and those devices are not listed down into the list you can choose a new device here it will show you all the things if you wanted to add more network cards you can click on network and the new network card will be added here onto the virtual machine for me I don't need I don't require any extra component on the virtual machine so I will click on next now so this is a summary actually so what you have been selected and uh, what number of processor you wanted to assign and memory how much memory you are required and how much NIC card you have assigned to the virtual machine for me it's look good everything's okay finally I will be clicking on finish button So the moment when I click on finish button it will take few seconds and I'll get some notification down there I got a notification saying that insufficient disk space on this resource so the file system specified implementation of the lookup failed so this is the error actually why because we have a storage crunch so for now I will be not providing much memory or much hard drive resource I will go again virtual machine new virtual machine new virtual machine 
same thing code hyphen b click on next again I'll be selecting SXI01 A you can see uh, we only have 10 GB of space available and we have assigned 40 GB that is beyond to the limitation when we have created a virtual machine last time so what we are going here we are going to assign a data store here selected and showing the compatibility check succeed exercise 6.5 and later already selected and I will be selecting here server 2012 2012 hit up 64-bit click on next here I will be providing a 5 GB not even 5 GB I will provide 2 GB of of disk space and 1 GB of memory all looks good everything is fine as before we have just decrease the capacity of memory and the hard drive we will click on next all look good I'll click on next finally on finish and one virtual machine already created here you can see and at this time the core B virtual machine is in power of state when you create any virtual machine it create a virtual machine but it keep on power of state so you have to make it turn on click on the virtual machine code B and right click on it go to the power option and power on let me repeat once again click on power on button and you will see the new icon has come onto the virtual machine the green triangle icon it shows that your virtual machine is turned on so this is the process creating a new virtual machine and you have seen the error when we have given beyond of the limitation of the resources you will get error such like this Thank you for watching my video. If you want to subscribe my channel, please click on subscribe button for from getting more videos and click on bell icon as well. Thank you very much.